pretty close to Acadia. Um, these look like these would be fun mountains to hike up. So let's see if I can find some trails tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna go anchor or steal a mooring somewhere over there. So we're coming into Somme Sound, which is a fjord. That's a kind of cool old boats around here too. Uh, very pretty area. It's anchored at Somme's Harbor. Um, a little frustrated because I was looking, I didn't really have cell signal when I planned where I was going. So I just said, well, the Somme's Harbor looks like right in the middle of the island. I figured that would be, you know, kind of central. It was kind of looked like a cool spot, but as I got in here, um, I had a little cell signal on the outside, but the further I got in, I just completely lost it. So I've got no cell signal. It looks like there's nothing here. Um, all I wanted to do was just find some cool trails and um, maybe a place where I can get, you know, upload a video and, you know, resupply. And it's just like nothing around here. And it was, oh my gosh, it's going to be like another four or five hours to get out of here and to Bar Harbor. I should have gone to Bar Harbor is what I wanted. So it's a little frustrating. Nothing to do but maybe read a book and then get out of here tomorrow. Since I um, freed up this throttle, the, the idle speed's gotten way too slow. It looks like maybe the, um, the throttle lever isn't hitting the stop. It's got a little bit to the side of it. But I think it should be a simple fix. I'm just going to loosen this um, little set nut and then uh, turn this in a little bit so it can idle a little higher. All right. So now the lever sits a little bit further forward. All right, it's a little too fast now. Let's go a little slow it down a little bit. Just decided to pull the anchor instead of uh, going ashore this morning so I could um, get on over to Bar Harbor or somewhere around there. Going off into the fog. This is where I should have anchored. Look how cool this spot is. Like cliff faces. Thick fog. Oh well. Maybe next time. Retrieve the drone. I'm gonna heave the boat too, and that involves just turning the boat across the wind, and we let the jib backwind instead of moving it over to the proper side, and then I'll make the boat nice and steady to come in and catch it. This is always a little bit nerve-wracking, and there I got it. We are flying along now, wing on wing. I caught the drone. I think that shot I got was totally worth the risk. We were moving along pretty well full sail up. I haven't gotten drone shots with this one really sailing um, fast, so that was pretty cool. Um, every time I fly that thing in any wind, it's just like high wind warning, high wind warning, beep, 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 can't come to home. 
and so it kind of makes me nervous. And I've got flown in enough wind where it's like actually had trouble flying too, so it doesn't really take a whole lot. Above 15, it really struggles. The wind's kind of being blocked by these trees, but we're gonna anchor right in here. It's very deep water, so we need to move in a little bit, I think. Up, up, up we go. To the top of Door Mountain. We've come a long way. Hey, I can see my boat. Okay, I just got a, made it to the topic to Door Mountain, so now Cadillac Mountain is the next. I don't have a lot of time before sunset, so I'm gonna take the the short route that just goes down and up. Looks like a challenge. <laughs> oh boy. Man. Cadillac Mountain, four tenths of a mile. Whew. Whew, I was up there just five minutes, 10 minutes ago. We made it to the top of Cadillac Mountain. And then my boat is way down there. Just the little speck next to the other boat. There's the Atlantic Ocean, all the way over to Europe, where I'm going to sail next year. Very cool. These trails are so nice. Nice uh, canopy and the Sun just went down, so I pretty much have it all to myself. I haven't seen another person, another person on the trail. And even during the day, I only saw uh, past three other people. This is the route I hiked. I just did a, a grocery run, and this might seem a little excessive, but I like to get rid of all the excess packaging. Um, before I go on a passage because I just have to take this stuff with me and hot and tall it off the boat and this just takes up room. And there's lingonberry still here. Um, it's interesting, this dinghy dock, I'm the only inflatable here. Everybody else has these fiberglass boats. I think they're more work boats. You see these giant mega yachts every, at every big harbor I go to. It's amazing this many of these things exist. Well, this is why they call it Bar Harbor. This doesn't really look like anything I wanna try to walk across. And I'm gonna have to wait. I think it's a one foot tide right now. And so I'll have to wait for it to go up at least another foot or two before I can row over this. Hmm. I guess I could carry the boat over it, but it just looks kind of sharp. Barnacles and stuff. Uh, I think I'll try to row around the island. I think I can do it. It's pretty calm out and the wind's in my favor. Here you can see that bar on the map. It was only about three quarters of a mile to row in the morning, but now it'll be about a mile and a half to row around it. Oh, it's really shallow here. Looks kind of cool. Thanks for there. watching. Special thanks to everybody who subscribed or contributed to the channel. Everything really helps to keep it going. Um, in the next video, we'll continue sailing down east to some of the more remote islands of Maine. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time.